let me be honest with you. We really don't know much about you because uh, I've been on the radio for almost all my life. I've been playing um, on radio stations uh, since I was 15. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have old radio. Right. That is a radio station playing only oldies. So that means we uh, we track all the old stuff that's been played on the radio all these mm -hmm. years. One of our favorite singles, uh, songs all these years, I remember, was uh, your song, I Don't Want to Lose Your Love. Yes, written by Bob. I didn't write that, but Bob wrote that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you sang that. Mm -hmm. And that's the interesting part. I don't remember if it was ever released in Greece. And I found the single in a second-hand shop in France a long time ago, played it, and it was one of the most popular songs uh, at that period on the radio stations. But we didn't know anything about you. We just had a name, Ricky Anderson, and I Don't Want to Lose Your Love. And I'm still playing it, and we still get the, the attention by the listeners again. And it's great we're talking to each other. Amazing. I've, I've got I, a, a copy of that with a picture sleeve of me on it, a blue. With yes, the, yes, that's the one I had. With the bow tie on, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the one. And it was an Italian copy, I think. Ah, yes, because I did perform in Italy on television, do I? I did one television in Italy, actually, yeah. I think it was 1983 or 4, I, I can't remember remember that uh, I would have been 26 but then on Monday I've got a big birthday because now I'm 65 on Monday but I, I'm still doing music do you want me to tell you the story of the Ricky Anders I had actually I've had various you know record deals I never had any major success at all actually I was surprised I don't want to lose your love wasn't a, a big hit because I thought I think it's just such a great song I think words are lovely and and I think the feel of the track sounds is just perfect and I, I mean, yeah, so I was surprised that that didn't make it. But how I met Bob was, well, before before I met Bob, when I was 20 or 21, I had a record deal with one of my best musical friends at school, actually. We got a record deal with a big German record company called Ariola Hansa. And uh, they had sort of Donna Summer and people like that. They were very successful anyway. But then we had we did an album and a couple of singles with top producers nothing to do with bob this was you know 1978 it was done and uh, but again no particular success did a couple of televisions but it didn't chart anyway so then i started doing demos of my own started to write my own stuff um well i did a bit of writing my own stuff then actually too but and then a, another friend of mine was working at emi as an A&R man, uh, you know what I mean, where they choose mm -hmm. people that sign people. And Bob was in there, in, and he met my friend who was working at EMI and said he was trying to sell some song that he'd just done with um, Ben Finden and Mike Myers. My friend said, oh, I've got a friend of mine, John, who's uh, looking for a record deal. Uh, uh, you know, are you interested? So I, that's how I met Bob, through my friend at EMI. And... Um, so then we record started to, the first demo we did was I don't want to lose your love actually and um, oh. yeah the first one and and then we did a, a few quite a few other demos after that but I don't want to lose your love as a master of course you know I don't want to lose your love I don't want to lose your love Yeah I Are you English? Oh, yes, I am in English. We were, I was born near Manchester in a place called Burnley. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and then we so we'd lived up in Lancashire until I was 10 and then moved to Oxford. And then as an adult, moved to London. So, uh, yeah, now I live in Sweden. So we moved here and we've got two children, two small children. Great. Yeah, still doing music. It's quite a lot. I mean... You know, there's no point in going into all the details. But the Ricky Anderson thing, you see, was that my real name is John Jonathan, actually. It's Jonathan Kermode. And Kermode was a very difficult name to pronounce. So uh -huh. all, all the various, when, when I first got the record deal, um, when I was 21, we, I just changed my name to John K, K-A-Y. I thought, all right, because just because Kermode's not very, it doesn't 
it's not easy to remember, right? So, right. and then when we came to the Bob thing, it was like, well, what, we, what, what are we going to call you? You know. And so we had a one evening, very fun evening, like just thinking of all different sorts of names. And um, in a way, I think we should have kept John. Actually, I don't quite know why we went for Ricky in the end, but we did. How about we, John Christian? How, how and, about well, and then, and, and, and then, and then, no, actually, no, John Christian I was. Well, before I met Bob, I was then I did a couple of demos. You know the the internet the um, YouTube clip I sent you yesterday of me. Yes, I heard it. Ebony eyes. Aber nun stelle ich euch den ersten Solo Interpreten unserer heutigen Sendung vor. Er ist ein Tipp von euch. Viele wollten ihn sehen, haben uns geschrieben. So ein Typ müsst ihr mal zeigen. Hier ist er. Er heißt John Christian. Und ist die Entdeckung von Dieter Bohlen, der wohl Deutschlands im Moment bekanntester Popproduzent ist. Und er hat den Titel für ihn geschrieben. Er besingt Schwarze Ebenholzaugen, also sein Titel Ebony Eyes. Und hier ist John Christian. Well, that was produced by Dieter Bolan, who had a band called Modern Talking. Do you remember that? Yeah, of course. We play Modern Talking. We still play Modern Talking. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, Dieter uh, was, you know, the writer and, and half of Modern Talking, basically. And uh, so he, I did a couple of demos. I did one record for him uh, before meeting Bob when I was really young. And uh, but that it sort of came out. But nothing happened. And then I met Bob. And then because then I Don't Want to Lose Your Love and Night Spot didn't really hit it big time. We sort of agreed. We, ne we always kept in touch, but we, we stopped working together. And, and then I met uh, up with Dieter Bolan again, who then signed me for that song that you heard. Uh, mm -hmm. And we did a proper video and everything. It was a, quite a big budget thing, really. But again, a surprise that that didn't chart either. So I don't know quite why, but because most things that Dieter Bolin did were massively successful, but mine wasn't. So, and then, you know, used John Christian again, because we'd done that already on the first time I met. Um, but uh, Ricky Anderson, so Ricky Anderson only lasted for two records, basically, Night Spot and I Don't Want to Lose Your Love. And we're going to, like I told you yesterday on the text um, message, um, my brother's going to upload the 
DVDs of those videos. Yes, you uh, should. There's no video on the YouTube. <laughs> no, well, well, well. He anyway. He's going to do that. And then, the, the, do you know Night Spot? The song Night Spot we did. Oh well, Night mm -hmm. Spot is on YouTube, but it's not got the video. It's just the song. Okay. And it's and it's spelled N I. T E night, so you can check that out. That's it. you can hear the song, but it's. Um, I also really like it. My preference, my personal favorite, is I don't want to lose your love. Actually, but I do like uh, Night Spot was good fun uh, to do, really good fun. And the video oh. for that is hilarious. The video for that was they we did it in Sarajevo, Sarajevo actually, uh, and um, so we did the video of Night Spot in about four days it took and it's quite you'll see it when when i upload it you'll see it it makes you it does it is funny but then uh, uh, we yes, did i don't okay. want to lose uh, your love video in about 20 minutes so the song you sent me last night timeless day which, uh, yeah i played on the show and uh, a listener of mine saw the video of ebony eyes oh yes and uh, she asked me to tell you have you ever been a band member maybe for some time no, I've never been in a band apart from just school. solo stuff, yeah. Yeah, just solo stuff, yeah. Under various names, <laughs> all right. And and and, and the, the the funniest name I had was, which also was a song. It was nearly a film soundtrack in Italy, actually. And uh, we came up with my manager at the time um, was uh, came up with this name, James Steen, you know. And I said, oh, yeah, but we can't call it myself James Steen because it sounds like James Steen. And he said, oh, but that's the whole point. You know, so we want to, uh, you know, he said, oh, so this is James Dean. And then you'll get everybody going, James Dean. Uh, have, have you heard that? Well, have, have you heard wait that? Wait a moment. I have a single by James Dean and I play it on the radio stations called Cry. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's me as well. Really? <laughs> I don't believe it. This is also great and very a song we've been playing on the radio for many years. No, I can't believe it. No. <laughs> the, well, the, the cry, I think, was the beast. Yeah, James Steen. Well, I have the single. It's a white, a white uh, sleeve. I have the single, and I've been playing, and we still play it on old radio. But do, on the other side of it is the song called "Lie." Is that right? Is it the same? I didn't know they but, were on the same record. Actually, how funny! Are you oh. telling me that you're James Steen? And, yeah. and the cry, you're singing cry. Oh, I did a version of cry. I don't know if it's another, if the, if another James Steen did a version of cry, but I certainly did. Yeah. I've uploaded that song on YouTube, and we've been <laughs> playing it for many years. Yeah, no. I think it got the same attention as I Don't Want to Lose Your Love. These two songs came together. Well, yeah, I don't believe well, how it. How funny. Yeah, so I'm, this, I'm both of those people. But the funny thing is that James – so my manager said, oh, you know, but it's a really good idea to call yourself James Steen because um, people are going to say, what, James Dean? No, James Steen. And, of course, it's going to get people talking. So we did it as a joke name, really. Uh, but <laughs> – so and how many to... other songs <laughs> are we going to find out that you're back? <laughs> I don't so think you'll find. I don't think you'll find any others, but uh, I don't think so. Your most successful single or, or song was all these years you've been. Uh, well, uh, I mean, the thing is, success. You know, I never got chart success. It was never. You know, I never made any money out of it at all. Um, so uh, you know, none of them got into the top ten. I think you know, Ebony Eyes in Germany got in the top 40 or something like that, I think, because it was on telly, we did a few tellies and, and a proper mm -hmm. video sh shown on MTV or whatever the equivalent was in Germany. But no, I mean, I, my favourite of all those songs that I did, I think was I Don't Want to Lose Your Love, actually. Um, and Such a melodic and just a sweet, it's a, a sweet very sweet song. song. I'd base my life on you, really nice song, yeah. And the... Um, yeah, I mean, I was just round about. It was the first song that I heard when I went to Bob's house. You know, he said, oh, I've just got this. You know, I've got various songs because he writes quite a lot and very quickly as well. And <laughs> um, uh, I heard the beginning of it. And then he said, oh, I'm going to finish it off next week. You know, and then he had the verse and the chorus. And then he sort of wrote the bridge last, I think. Uh, or whatever it goes. Anyway, it's so lovely. It's lovely. So. But then afterward, when after the Dieter Bolan episode of uh, 1987, when I did Ebony Eyes, uh, after that, I thought, right, I'm not going to try and be a pop star 
yet again because I was always trying for all different openings, whoever, you know, uh, as I say, nearly made it, but but didn't quite. And so I thought, well, right, I'm, I'm just going to concentrate on my own writing, which was always what I really wanted to do anyway. And um, but, you know, and also to carry on working with other songwriters, too. But I did want to write my own songs more once I was 30, age 30. And um, so then I. I started playing piano in hotels and places in London. I played at the Ritz Hotel and uh, the Savoy and the Carlton Tower. I played there for 10 years. Every night, six nights a week, I was playing piano and singing there. Um, so, uh, and in the daytime, I would do my recordings, you know, demos. More pleased with my own stuff than I ever have been, finally. <laughs> I like the ballads you sent me. The other one, we love ballads. I, I personally love ballads. I've been playing... Uh late shows all my life and I love ballads more than everything. That's why I like I Don't Want to Lose Your Love. It's so melodic and so... Are you going to continue going on writing songs and sending oh, me some? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I'm actually de uh, demoing a, a song today. Uh, well, I've got to one song called Living the Dream, which I'm just doing at the moment. Uh, and uh, I'll keep you informed. I'll keep sending you Great. stuff, Nick, you know. No problem at all. I think the two I sent you of my own songs yesterday was mm -hmm. In the Name of Music and Time yes. of Day. Yeah. And Time of Days. Yeah. I played Time of Days yesterday and I'm going to play the other one today. Great. Ricky, it was an honor. Oh, wow, Nick. Well, that, that's really great to, to talk to you. And when I Thank record you some other so new stuff, I'll, I'll send other stuff as and when I'm. Uh, yes, feel, I'll feel be happy. You know? Yeah. Very happy, and it's been an honor talking to you. And uh, and thank you for all those songs. Maybe they didn't have the uh, uh, the commercial success, as you said. But here on radio, all these years, you know, we grew up with these great songs. Right, amazing, Nick. What a great conversation. Thanks very much. <laughs> thank you. Have a good thank day. Thank you. Yeah. You too.